What's going on guys, JFC here, we're back. Uh, it is upgrade pack day for the Serie A, which is exciting. We also have a lot of news about what's to come for the rest of this week. And also ultimate team of the season is coming out on Friday. And we have some news about that as well. Some positive news actually, which is kind of nice. And in this video, I'm going to have the icon pick to open the 103.90 plus, And I'll also have the Serie A team of the season player in this video as well. With like a couple of the uh, fodder packs in there from the cup uh, as well. So at the end, we're going to open that up. And that's pretty much that for the intro. Let's start with the content that we got today we got Hector Bellerin uh this SBC came out and I didn't talk about like the other couple days context I didn't have a video out Phil Foden and Joaquin Correa came out and Phil Foden is wildly overpriced I'm sure you guys know this by now but this card we're gonna always price him a bit higher but the problem is like you know Foden's good in FIFA but I just don't think he's worth his price and Correa actually has five star skills he's actually a usable card as just as card is so that's kind of nice if he gets like uh, an upgrade though say Inter to happen to you know magically win this card will be insane it really will be insane so that's pretty much that and then Bellerin came out he's pretty cheap he's an okay card he's three star three star I mean he's a right back from the League of Portugal um you can't really do much with him let's be honest let's Again, guys, make sure you're doing the draft token upgrade every day, two a day. Make sure you're doing it. You don't have to buy from scratch. Just make sure you do it. It's going to be good value for you. What we didn't get actually is Eusebio. I figured Eusebio would be for sure coming out on the League of Portugal release date. That's what I thought, but uh, I guess we didn't get him. I'm still thinking he's going to come out this week. He's been leaked for a long time now. I'm assuming during the Portuguese League week will be the week he comes out, but it's very odd that they did not release him today. So I'm guessing it's going to come out tomorrow or on Tuesday. And by tomorrow, I mean Monday, upgrade pack day. But quickly, these Portuguese league cards. There's a couple that are really, really good. Pedro Guncalves, Guncalves, is that how you pronounce it, I think? Uh, Five-star skill moves, and the stats are crazy. I'm not going to lie. He's actually got 84 interceptions. He looks like a perfect, like, left or right mid in a three-back or five-back. He has 99 base finishing, base attack positioning, base composure, and base balance, all 99. That's It's actually insane how good this card looks. Traits of finesse shot as well. Like, this card insane 99 stam to if he had high high work rates this would be legitimately one of the best cards in fifa but high medium is still decent yeah that's the big one right there for sure of this team we got teremi as well who kind of looks like your average taller team of the season striker right doesn't really have outside foot or finesse which actually makes him like worse than those average team of season strikers six foot one high medium he's kind of mad job mario though is very good he plays center mid and this card is actually looks very good as a uh, box to box player with the high high work rates there portuguese links are possible right grimaldo looks decent too gonzalo ramos though looks actually crap <laughs> six foot one high medium five star skills with the just insane physicals like crazy physical stats only 81 composure just because they had to fuck this card up somehow a little bit but yeah this card looks pretty good too so i have to try him out and if you have tried these guys out please let me know and we talked more about the uh seriat team of the season in my last video if you want to go look at that titled one year because it's been one year on youtube so we talked a little bit about that i also want to bring up the season progress ends on this wednesday night slash thursday morning depending on where you live when division rivals rewards come out the season ends so if you're if you want to get your games in, make sure you do that. I have 81 of the 90 games right now. The season rewards though for 90 to compared to 50, if you're in I think elite division and division one, I'm pretty sure is like completely not worth getting. Like completely. I think I think yeah, it's one of four all the way here in 50 games. Is it the same in division two even too? Let's see. It's one of three, and I think I think 90 is one of four. Yeah. So in Division 2, you have 1 of 3 and then 1 of 4 with 90. But in Division 1 and Elite Division, getting 50 to 90 wins, or sorry, just games played, is um completely not worth it. So if you have 50, don't feel like you have to get to 90. But I'm going to have my video that night, probably after the season comes out, because this last season was actually pretty insane. I'm hoping they continue that trend. It'd be hilarious if they had a fantastic season like this one was, and they go back to what the old seasons were, just because they like are going to put swaps back at SBCs and just like disregard the seasons, right? But um, if you guys don't want to deal with trading it, all you guys can go to the link in my description go to u7buy.com they're a fast and very very reliable coin service the five percent tax is also covered you can use my code jfc at checkout for a five percent discount thank you to u7buy for sponsoring the video now let's get back to it yeah so we're gonna start off here with actually the good news that revol was revolving around ultimate team of the season and that is last year during ultimate we only had um efigs player packs and efigs red picks efigs meaning the top five leagues so prem Serie A, bundesliga liga and la liga were the player picks that we got no just straight ultimate team team of the season if that makes sense this year we're going to get just straight up ultimate team of the season player picks and packs which is actually very nice you want to give ea credit because like we appreciate that but also why they leave in the first place i don't know so this kind of confirms it here though you know we get ultimate tots 
three player pack that's going to be the, the champs pack right so that's very nice now the thing is that's going to cause depending on what the price is of ultimate team of the season players it's going to cause a lot of coin injection and also going to crash the market badly on some of these higher end team of the season cards that make the ultimate team of the season so we're going to talk about that here in one second because we're going to get ahead of that curve because players could literally go half in price you know so we got a couple leaked SBCs. we've got labotka coming during Serie A team of the season napoli as a club link which actually is pretty nice sash is just prediction Okay, hopefully it's, you know, a cool card, unique card a little bit. Not a whole lot to say about that, but then the other team of the season league as well as an SBC is one that we thought was going to be in the team, ended up not being in the team. It's also another center mid, and it's Milinkovic Savage. This one I'm obviously a lot more hyped for because he's just uh, always been actually pretty underrated in FIFA, in my opinion. It's a little odd the choice of doing two center mids in the SBCs. Maybe I'm complaining too much, but hopefully they're a little bit different from each other, you know? But this is very nice. I think Milinkovic Savage is going to be a very good card. He really fits the next gen meta better than most years, so that's nice to see. Another player we've also not seen is Cordoba Fantasy Flood Hero. He was an SBC leaked as well to come sometime during the week, and it always was a little weird that he was leaked in the first place, because when have they ever released a Fut Hero SBC or Fantasy Fut SBC that was later on in the year? We've never seen that before, so it's a little weird that he was leaked in the first place, and we haven't seen him yet, so maybe that isn't real, but at the same time, Nikki himself has just said, you know, we're waiting on Cordoba, so still be on the lookout for that too, I guess. Okay, Benzema left Real Madrid EA. Where are the end of an eras? We need Busquets, we need Alba, we need Benzema. Now we need Ibra. He also just retired as well. Zlatan, we need an end of an era card for it. He actually might not get one. He's had some beef with EA in the past. Now they actually gave him a promo card this year. So maybe that beef is kind of not really a thing anymore, or they kind of figured out a way to get around it. But um, we need end of an era cards. And we've only had what? We've had Bale and Urzil. And then maybe I'm forgetting somebody else, but we need more. All right, we need more. We need them soon. Don't release them like two months from now because that would just be stupid. Let us play with them while the game is still like somewhat alive, right? This Ebra card. And they need to make this Laton card if they give him one legitimately like 96 rated. They need to. I mean, same with Benzema, but like we are literally going to have Ebra, you know, Ibra has that dispute with EA, like I was just saying. That means as an icon, we might not see him. Like we might not ever see an Ebra card again in FIFA, which is very sad to think about. But um, yeah, we need a really good Ebra card. Okay, back to the market right now. We have Ultimate Team of the Season packs and stuff on the way here. That's already causing big time panic. These players are going down more and more in price. At least the cards, the ones that are in packs, which is kind of what we expect. But at the same time, everything like even like Valverde, I see there coming down a bit. Kimmich 279 there, Davies 237. Ultimate is going to have a lot of great players. There'll be some that won't be in the team, and those guys who aren't in the team are probably going to stay the same or even possibly go up in price. But of course, there's just no way to tell. We'll know in the leaks if you watch my videos every day. We'll see the leaks, you know, a couple days beforehand, I'm sure. But to be safe, there's really no way to know if your car will be in it or not, which means that I would want to be out at the moment right now, even. Like, it's already going down. You're probably already selling at a slight loss. But if you have a really high-end card, I'm talking a Rafael Leao or Osman or a name and Mbappe, a Messi, these kinds of cards, you know, Griezmann to just try and get out. There's a high chance that we're going to see way more supply of these guys and they're going to drop. You know, that's just how it's going to happen. So be on the lookout for that um, as well. Guys, you already know what I'm going to say. Every Monday, gold rares, 700 coins right now. You can pick them up for 650 on bid easily. Yeah, they might not rise a shit ton to 13, 1400 coins, but if they're like 900 coins or something like that and you plan on doing any upgrades at all, you need to buy some because you're going to save yourself like 200 coins each gold card when you're doing like 50 upgrades. That adds up over time a lot. So just buy before Beforehand. You can bid if you want. You can do whatever. Player picks as well. Look for gold commons at 400 350 because this is going to be like they're 350 coins you can easily buy right now. You put them on bid at 300. You can probably lazy sell for 600. You can literally can like double your money. Or if you're planning on doing any player picks in the first place, you're going to want to just buy beforehand because it'll guaranteed be cheaper. But okay, I actually opened my Serie A Tots player pack and my other packs just a little bit ago. We're going to start with those right now. Alrighty, we got an 85 10 or sorry, 85 3, 83 10, and a Serie A Tots player pack. We'll begin with the 85 times 3 here here and it is a blue nice argentina center back oh it's a mendy okay forgot he was in packs that's not too bad i guess Okay. What is this pack? Tomori? All right, we'll take that. Well, this already was a W. I guess a 1083 plus players pack now. Um that's not good. Man of the match. Ghana. Right wing. Uh oh god, that is Bad. Okay. Serie Tots player pack. Eight wins in the cup was for... Please? Brazil and Estrofezio. 
Okay. All right, here we go. We're gonna nation reveal this for some fun. I have no idea if these are good or not. Literally, I, I, I've, I've, uh, I haven't seen anybody open these at all. We get Netherlands and France. That's a solid sign. Italy there, it could be okay. We're gonna start with Italy. We're gonna stat reveal it now. Um, 84 physical. That could be Maldini, right? It doesn't have that high of physical. Okay. Um, this is an Italian attacker. Oh, ho, ho, ho. God. The less said about that, the better. Okay, on to the French one. 90 physical. I was gonna hope it was Canton, a fun birthday, but that's not gonna be Canton. I think he's got more physicals than that, right? I wanna say. 90 defending is gonna be like Trophy Titans Blanc, isn't it? Yeah, 67 dribbling. 56 passing. Oh, prime to Saeed, even worse. Okay. Not looking good. I gotta admit, so far, not looking good. And this is a goalkeeper. Oh, it's probably gonna be... Oh, is it Team of the Year, Vandersar? Okay. That's actually not terrible. I don't know how much he's going for right now, but that's like a goalkeeper that at one point in the year was like the most expensive keeper in the game. So I don't hate this pull. It's not great. But seeing how I get Desai and the fact that you can even get Vieri in any pack in this stage of FIFA is not great. So yeah, my guess is these are probably not very good. We're going to take Vandersar here. What is he going for right now exactly? He's still 1.2 million. Oh my God. 1.2 million, dude. I'm sorry. He's not going to be worth that. I've used him actually before. And the difference between him and like a Yashin is like negligible. Same with like team of the year Courtois. It's not going to be that much different. But all right. Hope you guys enjoyed. Love you all. See you next video. Peace.